What's up guys, I'm Nick of Camp Crunch, and since I haven't done a video in a long time, I thought I'd start things off uh, by doing an update video, just letting you guys know what's up with me, with Camp Crunch, and all that uh, good stuff. So if you guys don't know, I'm actually in college right now, and I'm in my senior year, so, you know, work's starting to pile up, and, you know, I, I really need to, you know, step up, do my best, um, stay on top of everything, so that hopefully, you know, by the end of all this, I'll, I'll be able to find a job um and you know do well so i'm trying to you know work hard on that while still finding time to you know do these videos and you know create content for you guys uh and that's been pretty tough especially within the last few weeks um the last few weeks have been you know probably the toughest uh time so far that i've had in college and i know that it's only going to get uh tougher within the next few months so just keep that in mind but I have always been, I have constantly been thinking of, you know, Camp Crunch and the videos that I'm going to make. Um, and a lot of things have been changing, especially behind the scenes. I've actually picked up, I've actually sold cameras and picked up new cameras. I'm filming this with a Canon T3i and I have a T2i as well. And those are two cameras that I bought specifically for Camp Crunch. I've been shooting primarily film lately, but I needed, you know, digital cameras just to do the tutorials and that sort of stuff. So I picked up these two entry level cameras and the reason why I, I chose these over, you know, maybe a 5D is because I've been getting a lot of comments lately in some of the older videos saying that, you know, a lot of the stuff that I, I talk about only can be done with, you know, more expensive equipment. Um, and I just kind of, kind of want to show that, you know, you can do the stuff that I, I show with basically any camera with manual exposure and maybe a hot shoe or a way to, you know, sync your flashes if it's the off-camera flash stuff. So that's why I decided to choose these entry-level cameras. I actually bought them from the refurbished store and they've been perfect so far. Uh, I also picked up a 50 mil. Right now I'm using the 18 to 55 and it's actually, you know, for kit lens, it's pretty good. It's, you know, sharp enough for most of my needs, but it's, you know, re the, really only the issue with it, it's the speed, it's 3.5 to 5.6. But, you know, that's not so bad, especially when you're shooting in the day. Um, other than that, I've been, sh again, I've been shooting a lot of film lately. I have a Voigtlander Bessa R2A, which I will do a video on. Um, I don't know when I'm going to do a video on that. Probably when I get uh, a few of my pictures back. And I also have a Leica M42, which I will also do a video on. And I have a couple of lenses for that. So I'm going to do videos on those for those of you that are, you know, into film and that sort of stuff. Um, I also have a new speed light. It's a Young Newell YN 568 and that is to finish my tutorial or not my tutorial, my review on the Young Newell YN 622 because I do not have my 580 EX2 anymore. I got rid of that when I got rid of all my, of some of my other stuff. So I needed a flash with TTL and high speed sync. So look forward to that as well. I've also been thinking about working on the tutorials for beginners using these entry-level cameras but I don't really know exactly what you guys want to see because honestly there are a lot of you know videos online already um, the idea was to make one series that would you could sort of watch from beginning to end and sort of learn the basics but I don't know if I should still do that because there are so many other ones so if you have any input on that I'd like to know you guys can leave that in the comments down below I think that's it I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.